What's that noise? Android weekly app review. Must be that time of the week. Oh, hello. Didn't see the. Um, if you guys are just wondering, this is a alarm droid application. It's an alarm application that you get from the marketplace. Anyway, let's get this um, weekly app review started. Okay, the first application we take a look at is Spray Painter. Um, this application is basically you have a like a blank canvas. Um, you could choose the different type of wall that you want. You could change the pattern, the wall color, and what you do is you could just basically spray paint over the wall like a graffiti in a wall. But instead of actually doing it on a wall, you could do it on a mobile phone. You can make different designs. You have all of these different colors to choose from. There isn't um all the colors available but just the most popular ones and you could also change the strength so if you don't want it too strong you could have like a weak effect medium and then the full on strong effect and you could also change the size so if you want to do like a little drawing or writing or anything you could easily do that and this is just a great little application if you want to you know draw and just do some graffiti um, it's kind of like a mini mini uh, Photoshop and I believe you can save the picture that you want when you finish with it, save it to your mobile phone and stuff. And this application is free from the marketplace. Okay, the next application we take on a look at is NPC. Um, it's a car park application. So, say for example, you're traveling into a new area that you don't really, you're not really familiar with, and you want to find some parking spaces, you could easily do that. Just type in uh, London, for example, search, pick the location that you want, and it shows you all the available car park locations in that area. From there you can just tap on the one that you want. So if you want one there, it displays how much um like bays are available, parking spaces. It's got six hundred and seventy and it's for two hours seven pounds and for nine hours twenty eight pounds. So it shows you the price as well. And for more information about that, it shows you the exact address, how much miles it is away from your current location, the amount of spaces, um phone number, you got opening times, tariffs, so it shows you all the different prices and you have the car park feature so if it has like lifts for or ramps for the people with a disability toilets and stuff like that so it really does show you all the things that you need to know about the car park and you could also get directions from your current location which is really good um this application is free from the marketplace and it's a great application if you're like looking for um parking spaces in areas that you're not really familiar with okay the next application we take a look at is trial extreme and it is a motorcycle game where you just have to try and control the bike and get it across the obstacle course. There are going to be jumps and stuff that you need to do. This one is to accelerate, that one's to brake. You can use the accelerometer to tilt the guy backwards and forwards, you know, to get him to land him accurately. So now you just tilt it forward and try accurately do it. This game is good the graphics are very nice and you can see like when you're driving along you can see the dirt particles dropping which is really nice and there's smoke coming from behind the motorcycle so they really worked well with the graphics game is pretty good to play once you get used to the controls and how it works like this is the demo version so you won't get all the features and all the different tracks but nevertheless it's still a great game to try out Um, yeah, you can get this application free from the Android Marketplace. And the next application we're going to be taking a look at is it's, it's a lock screen. Um, so basically, if you're familiar with the lock screen that was in the HTC um, Sensation and the Evo 3D, um, it's the exact same one. Uh, once you download it, you just click Start and it automatically starts up the lock screen. So when you lock it and open it back up, you have the HTC Sense one. This works on any phone. Not sure if it works on every single phone, but it works on most of them. So you just slide the ring up to unlock it. Or, say if you want to open up the camera, you just slide this down. And it opens up the camera straight away. And you have the messaging, web browser, you can still do it um, with, it, with different applications. And it works pretty well. Um, you could download this if you know you really like the HTC Sense lock screen. Like I said, it works on any phone. You have the time, your network, the day, and like notifications that you have up there. So I have an alarm set, and it tells you what time the alarm is set. So you get your notifications on here as well. Um, 
this uh, this lock screen itself is pretty good. It works surprisingly well. It's, it works similar to the one found in the HTC Sensation and the uh, Evo 3D. Um, this is free for the marketplace, or you can get the paid version, which have which unlocks the settings. Okay, the next application we're taking a look at is Chumi. Um, this application transforms your voice, your normal voice or a normal song, into an auto-tuned song. So you could uh, record your own music on here, or just record your own voice singing, and it automatically tunes it into a um, auto-tuned voice. You have the option around there, record song. You choose a name for it. That could be anything. And you could actually choose the scale that you want it to but I just leave it as default then you press start recording and it automatically records your voice I've one I recorded before it just sounds like that, nothing special, I don't know if you heard it properly but it all tunes your voice, you need to listen to it carefully and it actually does do it um, this application is great and it's free from the marketplace Okay, the last thing we're going to be taking a look at is a live wallpaper. It's going to get that loaded up. The live wallpaper we're going to be taking a look at is Mario live wallpaper. You could set it. It's got a blank screen. And what it is, you just have Mario just running up and down. You have the clouds moving in the background. He's just jumping, jumping um, in that tube, going down and back up through here. So it's just a simple like Mario live wallpaper. If you're a fan of the uh, Mario, you can easily have it. It's a great live wallpaper and you can go check it out. And it's free for 900 Marketplace. Um, that's been about it for the video. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Leave your comments below. Also recommend me some application to review in the next video. And also follow me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Um, and that's about it. Thanks for watching. Look into the centre. Don't stop looking at the centre. You're under. First thing I want you to do is subscribe to my channel. After you subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook. And also follow me on Twitter as well. When I snap my fingers again, you will return to your normal state. Okay, that's about it for the video. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.